Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Today I'm going to take a short little walk around a new phone from US Cellular, the Samsung Mes Mesmerize, which is another in the Galaxy S uh, device lineup from Samsung. So um, this is the device. As you can see, that's the box, obviously. There's the back and the front of the retail package. Just keep it over there in the background. And this is the device. This is, uh, as I just said, a Samsung Galaxy S Android phone. It's um, like all the other ones on the other major retail carriers. It is an Android 2.1 device at launch uh, with an upgrade to Froyo coming and I believe sometime either in November or early 2011. Uh, we still don't have the final word on when that update will be coming and it will probably vary uh, across the carriers. So as we can see in the front here this has that beautiful 4 inch um, Super AMOLED display which is a wonderful very vivid color display. Looks great on the device. It's about the perfect size of a device as well. Um, let's just kind of look. I'll just turn it off here, and lock it, and we'll look at some of the other pieces of the hardware, right? So, uh, let's see if I can angle this right. It's just a solid slab in the front, right? There's no break between the display and the touch-sensitive buttons down here. And we see on this particular model, it's menu, home, back, and search. It has U.S. cellular up top, proximity sensor, and uh, light sensor up there. Um, headset speaker up front. On the left side, we have a simple volume button up there, and then there's a lanyard opening up at the top. On the bottom, there's simply the microphone hole, and then just the, uh, the area to grab hold of the back. On the right, we have the power button, which is typical for Samsung. And on the top is the 3.5mm headset jack and the micro USB with a slider door, keeping it uh, free of lint and things like that. On the back, we see we have a 5 megapixel camera, also with a flash, right? I believe, um, I know the Vibrant doesn't have one, the Captivate. I know that the Epic 4G has a flash. I'm not quite sure about the Fascinate. But uh, if the Fascinate doesn't, this is the only one that uh, is not with the keyboard that has the flash. And then we have that uh, the speaker down toward the bottom. As you can see, the back is, is quite a uh, fingerprint magnet. It does have the Galaxy S brand on the back. There's nothing on there that says Mesmerize anywhere, so you wouldn't even know it's the Mesmerize unless you, you knew the device from the box. Uh, the, it feels, uh, it's, it's similar, of all the devices, it's most similar to the T-Mobile Samsung Vibrant, and I own that device for a couple weeks, but I would say this one feels uh, more solid and less less cheap. Uh, the Vibrant had kind of a really plasticky back. This one just feels a little bit more solid than the Vibrant. Uh, however, it's quite similar to the Vibrant and that's what it's closest to in my opinion. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and flip it on here. So after we turn it on, we see this uh, particular Vibrant or this particular model, the Samsung Mesmerize, has a swipe, or sweep the glass to unlock, so we sweep it one way or the other. And there we go, there's our home screen, right? And um, let's see, as we scroll across, we see that there is seven home screens with some some of the Samsung TouchWiz, uh, TouchWiz 3, I believe. Uh, some of the things that they have, like the feeds, they have a daily briefing application. Here's a typical page of, at, of uh, shortcuts. I'll show some of those later. Another one, uh, the buddies, and then a calendar type of thing, and then some um, some media stuff. So as we come back here, we see that there's a couple of uh, apps at the bottom that are particular to the U.S. cellular brand. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is um, this is also a 199 device after an $80 mail-in rebate, and it, as I said, it. it does come with Android 2.1, so it will be upgradable to Froyo. Another thing I didn't find on here is it, this version actually does not include the Samsung Media Hub. Um, that it will be coming, they said, with that 2.2 update. But it's kind of unusual since the Media Hub is actually active now on, uh, on some of the other Galaxy S devices. So we see here there's My Contacts, Tone Room, and then we have Your Navigator. If we tap on this, it's the Your Navigator Deluxe from US Cellular, which is powered by Telenav. So this is this is Telenav software, and as you can see here, it's the typical what you'd expect from the uh, the Telenav um, 
software that we see. And I believe this is included in the fees on uh, on the US cellular. I know they'd have their their belief project with a bunch of great options, um, one and done contracts, reward plans, national rate plans, uh, battery replacement, phone replacement, a bunch of different things to help the customer out. So other than these screens we see we tap on here, we have the application browser. So here we go. You know, you can see there's city IDs, another thing that's added. We have a desk cradle, the gallery, which is a typical gallery, the daily briefing. Yahoo Mail was preloaded. I did not load that. MySpace is there. They use the Think Free Office um, suite. And let's see if this is an editing suite. I'll accept the license agreement. Okay, activate. That's right, the uh, Think Free is based upon each device. So there we have, uh, there we have the Think Free. So there you go, new document spreadsheet presentation. If we do new document. Yeah, so this is the full suite that, uh, that comes on the device, which is nice. It's actually a task manager here too. So you can see this is the task manager active applications, summary, kind of nice to have on the Android device because a lot of times it's difficult to find what's running on an Android device. And we see that they have a video player and the nuance of voice commands. A voice recorder application is preloaded. Write and go, as we see here, just kind of a note-taking app. And one thing that's nice is they have the wireless modem functionality built right into it, right? Which is normally something that we see on the Froyo 2.2, so it's nice to see that they have that option in there. And I believe there is an additional fee for using it as the uh, as a tethering modem. But it's nice that this is uh, included on the device itself. And then everything else that's on here, you know, is the typical uh, phone applications that we see on the TouchWiz, Samsung Galaxy S devices. We got the Gmail, of course, the Android Market, calendar, the camera. Let's show you the camera application real quick. So here's the camera application, right? And if we tap on the side here, we see we have some flash options and some other tool options. And there's pages and pages of different uh, different settings, anti shake. And over here, you can switch between video and pictures. It does do the 720p video as well as an option there. And what, uh, what format selected here? Yeah, so the 720 resolution. And uh, you know, I've been running it for several days. It's a typical Galaxy S type device, right? Looks great. Has a decent battery life. Uh, just kind of a very fast, responsive, nice device. You just have to get used to, you know, like the TouchWiz and things like that, but. Uh, Overall, it's a great device, and for $199, you know, it's a, it's a nice choice for the U.S. cellular market, which is uh, getting quite a few devices. This is actually um, the third of their five smartphones launching this year. They're going to have that are Android devices. That is, they're going to have the LG Apex in November and the LG Optimus U in December. That join the Mesmerize and uh, the other one that I looked at was the Desire. The Desire, and then I'm not sure, they had one previous to that, I can't remember the name offhand. But again, 4 inch Super AMOLED to screen, 1 gigahertz Samsung processor, uh, 5 megapixel camera with a flash, and all that great stuff. Uh, Bluetooth 3, Wi Fi, um, and a micro SD card as well. So that's a look at the Samsung Mesmerize for US cellular. Great option if you're on that carrier, and uh, just overall, quite a nice device. Thanks for watching.